Hello, could I get a skinny soya frappa lappuccino with just a soupçon of cream, please? Oh, a uh, regular coffee. And would you like that with today's special? Our chocolat déconstruit? Uh, yeah, okay. Just one moment then, sir. Not chocolate! It's deconstruit. Well, I hope that barista gets fired. Obviously, I hope all baristas get fired, but that one in particular, because chocolate is important, and it deserves better than being served in its deconstructed elements. Does he have any idea how complicated it is and how much time it takes to smoosh this stuff into chocolate? I am reliably informed by our own script that it takes up to 15 hours. Fortunately, I have the exact opposite of a barista here to help. Someone who can tell us the shortcuts. A real scientist. I thought I had. Well, they'll turn up when they're needed. Scientists always do. Right, let's get mixing. You probably know that chocolate is made up of these three main ingredients. Cocoa powder, sugar, and cocoa butter, which I'm just going to pop on to start melting down now. The reason this is so complicated is that we're trying to mix two very granular solids, which are non-fat soluble, using as little fat as possible, since I'm trying to maintain my other job as Brad Pitt's body double, my Adonis-like physique, my svelte figure, my, uh, Rocky from Rockahorry picture show. <laughs> so, let's just add this now. In go the cocoa powder, and we'll pop on the sugar as well. Now it's time to find my handy-dandy science spatula. We'll start giving that a little mix. This is the amount of fat you'd have in a normal chocolate bar, like you'd buy in the shops. But we are going to add a little more cocoa butter, just to speed things along a bit. Two hours later. All right, after all that mixing, we are... not even close to what we were hoping to achieve here. Which means at this point, we have three options. One, surrender. And I never surrender. Two, keep mixing for about... An eternity, or three, add even more fat and risk our perfect rippling abs. Or Alex, you could try taking this cheeky shortcut. <laughs> it's an emulsifier called soy lecithin. While you add a drop of that, why don't I explain the physics going on? Oh, please do. Scientists always popping up just when you need them. So, what's happening in here then? Chocolate is made of particles of cocoa and sugar in fat. We want our chocolate to taste nice, but not have lots of fat in it, so we need as many particles as possible. But the more particles we have, the less room they have to move, and the more difficult it is to mix. It's called a dense dispersion, lots of solid tiny particles in a little bit of liquid. It's like going to a party. At the beginning, there aren't many people, and it's easy to go over and order a beer. But as people start arriving, it becomes more and more crowded. And when the party's at full swing, it's really hard to just move across the dance floor to join your friends. You can make the room bigger, which is like adding more fat, or you can use lecithin. 
The lecithin is like the milk protein. It has a bit that likes the fat and another that likes the water. It goes around the particles to form a barrier. That's why it's called an emulsifier. It keeps them smooth and slippery so they don't stick to each other. Lecithin makes it easier for the particles to move around each other. Now the party doesn't feel quite so crowded. I feel like we've all learned an important lesson today. Zoom in. Like many things in life, making chocolate is a trade-off between how much effort you're willing to put in and how much fat you're willing to add. And of course, whether you want to add an emulsifier, such as soy, lychee, lycanthrope, lind, lint, lind, what is it? Lacithin. Soy, lacithin. But lacithin also helps to make our chocolate look the same for longer. Mm. Chocolate's a dispersion of solid particles in fat. We have other dispersions on our kitchen, like tomato soup and cornstarch. Well, that sounds delicious, but the only dispersion I'm interested in dispersing is right here. Now that looks like the perfect chocolate, mm -hmm. but luckily I bought my own. I should have that too. You could dip that. No, you could. You could dip it. <laughs> That's science. <laughs> We hope you have enjoyed this video and for more videos go to freakphysics.com.